his shirt. Then she sends the kids to school. Sees them off with a smile. Got a green smile. light. All right. Space explores between the lights. Three, two, one, go. And the sad stars begun. Team Paradox immediately runs out and is able to place a hatch panel on the top level of its near side Alliance rocket ship during the sandstorm. That will be worth double the points that it's normally worth. As humans take control of their robots, various robots fan out to accomplish their various assignments. Wolverine Robotics goes over to the blue side, begin playing defense against the Blue Alliance. Meanwhile, Team Paradox and the Chargers are to begin loading cargo into the Red Alliance cargo ship. On the blue side, not Sison Robotics has now completed filling up the far side of the Blue Alliance cargo ship and is going back for more cargo. Optimot is working to complete the hatch panels on the front side of the Blue Alliance cargo ship. All the chargers are working to just continue to load more cargo. 2102 almost loaded an extra set of cargo into another cargo bay. That would not have counted for any extra points, so instead they think better of it and move over and load it into an empty cargo bay. Near the Blue Alliance cargo ship. Wolverine Robotics continues to play defense, but inserting itself between Blue Alliance robots and places that they wish to go. Monoville bots have taken that same task on the Red Alliance side. They're Blue Alliance and on the Red side to have come to play defense. Uh, less than 30 seconds left in this match. Teams hurriedly try to do final things to score a few more points. Bonneville bots are seem to be stuck in their location. Less than 10 seconds left. Teams hurry to make their climbs. It appears that all three of the Red Alliance robots have been successfully made it to have two. And here's the final scores for this. It's a Blue Alliance victory. An extremely close, 43 to 42. With that one extra.